Oh, hello everyone. Uh, vitamin D plays an essential role in strengthening our bones and boosting our immune system. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the proper way of taking vitamin D and why vitamin D doesn't work without magnesium. So um, when we consume vitamin D uh, via food or supplements or sun exposure, it's a vitamin D that is in inactive form. And in order for it to be activated, it must go through two conversions. The first conversion happens in the liver, and the second conversion happens in the kidneys. Now, if magnesium levels are too low, or if the liver or the kidneys are not in good shape, uh, vitamin D remains inactive. And if vitamin D is inactive, calcium cannot be absorbed and directed into the bones. And because of that, our bones become frail, weak, we lose bone density, and that's how we become or develop osteoporosis. So taking vitamin D supplement alone without magnesium is not the right way. Uh, I'm going to show you later in this discussion uh, the right uh, uh, labs to get so you can assess if you have magnesium and vitamin D deficiency. So let's go over this presentation and see what we have here. Okay, so let's start from top. Uh, cholesterol in the skin reacts with UV light and transforms it to a uh, pre-vitamin D. Uh, that pre-vitamin D is then transported uh, into the liver for further processing and that's when uh, the first conversion happened. So at that point, it's still inactive form. Then it has to go to the, the kidneys to be activated. That's the second conversion. So the point is uh, the serum lab test that we get is the inactive form before it gets to the liver and gets activated. So the lab work that I'm recommending is this magnesium vitamin D uh, panel blood test. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave the uh, link to this uh, lab test where you can get it. Um, you will get magnesium RBC, you will get vitamin D inactive form serum vitamin D, and you will get the active form vitamin D along with calcium. So this is very good to get these combos because they work together and we want to assess the situation, not just from a standalone inactive vitamin D, but the whole network, the whole package, how if, if, if everything is, is working and intact rather than getting um, a lab work that is inefficient and may not give you much information. So this is my reference and that's about it, folks. Thank you so much and you guys have a good day.